that's yeah what I'm going to do today. But one thing I'm going to do is at least go fill a feeder up. Got a pretty good meter to fill up. I've just been catching one or two a day. It's going to be a pretty day. Let's see what we can get in there. Probably end up on a tractor for just a little bit. I really don't want to be on that thing all day today. See what kind of progress the loggers is making. It's a bright, pretty day. We got a few stacked up, waiting on the trucks to come back in. Stop and talk to the guys there for a minute. They asked me what we was feeding them rattlesnakes. They killed that big in there, and I killed that other one over at the other place. And then uh, they said they let they had two more that got away from them on this main road here. They are crawling right now. Ooh. I hope I don't see no more. y'all so I kind of got caught up uh, the other day I had to go up here to uh, where was I going going to Cody and them's ball game football game or something but anyway I go right by Rick's place and saw our boat sitting out front on a train wasn't painted yet so I think that was yesterday so I don't know if he's painted it today or not but I texted him to see if he was over the shop earlier been a while said he was but anyway we'll try to go by there and see if he's there and check it out and let y'all see it before it gets painted and sitting on the trailer uh, it was looking good it was hard for me not to stop and look at it but i was in a hurry hurry yesterday so let's ease on by there and see what the new aluminum custom boat's looking like oh look at this unit that is looking good. Heck yeah. Oh, we need some paint. Got the trays in it. Have a fuel cap right there. Fuel tanks in it. Hot too. I like it. Oh, it's one solid lid. I didn't even look at that while ago. Yeah. Heck yeah. Put your battery and stuff and move them, whatever on this side, that side. Is it? Will it hold ice for beer and stuff? I guess you'll put cooler in there. Yeah. <laughs> it ought to drain out, shouldn't it? Yeah, it'll, it'll drain all out. 
What did he have? There ain't nowhere to get nothing from. You got to order everything you get these days. I think it's gonna be good. Right, we need two two fuel tanks. Man, is that aluminum boat not looking good? He is all but done with the boat. Oh, let's see. You probably got to cut a couple of drain holes. Let's see. You had to cut cut a hole for the switch panel. Uh, gonna do something a little different up there on that front bar where it is. That's where the, we're gonna have some lights up under there. Got to excuse my language, but the oh shit handle up there that you can hold on to that thing, and that's what I call it, where you hold on to and stand up and operate the boat standing up without falling out. Uh, what else you gotta do? Trailer's almost complete. It's gotta be painted. Gotta do some little fender work on it, and then they had to carpet the two bys. Put the lights in it. Uh, let's see what else he got to do. Uh, of course, we got to figure out the boat motor we're gonna put on it. But uh, pretty much coming together. I'm gonna tell you that thing looks good. I think he set it out there because he knew I'd be riding by. But he's, he's already just about got him one done. I've uh, been waiting on some parts and stuff for my boat and his new boat to come in. So. Shipping these days is very slow, but man, that thing is looking good. I can't wait to see the motor on it and the trailer painted up. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, he done a boat. One of his boats, several boats ago that he sold, uh, he put a dual axle trailer under it. And I had remembered that, and I said, man, that's just a good idea. It's not, you don't need it for the weight of the boat. It's just, it looks me, number one, it looks better. I don't like a single axle trailer, and he's, I, I, my idea was if you had a blowout or something, you'd just take the tire off and keep on getting it, because you don't, them's 3,500 pound uh, axles, and we was just talking about it, I don't think we're going to weigh, let me see, what do we figure, it's going to be a thousand pounds or less, I think, I think that's what he said, but anyway, we ain't going to max out one axle. But he said it's happened before to him when he was traveling with a boat fishing or duck hunting or something. Had a flat, just took the wheel and tire off. No, he had a bearing go out, had a bearing go out. So he just pulled it off, throwed it in the back of the truck, kept on getting it. So that was kind of my idea. Number one, it looks better. And, and number two, you can kind of keep on going if you uh, kind of get in a mess and, and uh, don't have time to change it or something like that. I guess. I just kind of like the idea of having four tires back there. I got a little single action trailer I used to haul my Ranger on, and you just wear tires. I don't, I don't know. I just don't like it. I like the dual axle. But anyway, aluminum boat project is coming together. And uh, I'm about to head to the house and call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.